This is a series of videos. Please refer to methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The Hummingbird Beginners are recommended to watch tutorials videos first and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn in the kits. The Head Working into a magic ring, wrap the corresponding yarn around your fingers like this. Make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on middle finger. Working into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your little finger, then bring it to the index finger. Make a loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into a loop on your middle finger. Yarn round hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes a magic ring. In round 1, start with the chain stitch and then work 8 single crochets. Finally, end with 1 slip stitch. Work 1 chain stitch. Yarn around hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn around hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch serves as the beginning to raise the heights. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Then work 8 single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn around hook and pull up a loop. Then yarn around hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into a magic ring. Hook the yarn. Pull up a loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V shape on the side stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch of each round through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Continue to work 7 more single crochets in the same way. The second single crochet is done. There are two Vs stand for two single crochets. Continue to work six more single crochets in the same way.
We can count the Vs to check the number of stitches. There are AVs in total. Eight single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch. Insert the hook into the mark stitch, yarn run hook and put up a loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Slip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch. Make sure to tighten up when you work the slim stitch. The slip stitch serves as a connection and is not included in the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with one chain stitch and then work 8 increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. First, work one chain stitch. The chain stitch serves as the beginning to raise the height. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Then work 8 increases. First, work 1 single crochet in the first stitch where we just worked the slip stitch of the previous round. A V-shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch of each round. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work one single crochet in the next stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Insert hook into the same stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. Okay, one increase is finished. Continue to work two single crochets in the next stitch. The second increase is done. Continue to work 6 more increases in the same way. 
we need to work two single crochets in each stitch. Remove the marker. Work one slip stitch. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn round hook and put up a loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. Tie them up when you work the slip stitch. One two is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If we pull the yarn too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the stitch holes becomes too large, so the fabric will be out of duty.